Hi, it's Ken, a librarian here at PCC. We're here to get some tips and tricks to improve the search results we get in EBSCOhost. If you're just starting out, look for our EBSCOhost Getting Started video and watch that one first. After watching this video, you will be able to use the word OR to add alternate words to your search, narrow your search results by date, narrow your search results by type of source, and use wildcards to match to different forms of a word. Let's talk about how we use search terms, or keywords. Here we've just searched climate change and crops, which is good because we have a central concept and another keyword to help narrow it down. But we might not have found some of the best material on our topic. Why? Well, what if there's some perfect article floating around out there, but it talks about global warming instead of climate change? Or think about crops. What are other related keywords that you might use there? Perhaps farming. When you have more than one word that could work to describe a concept, group them together in the same box with the other related words. Use the word OR in between. So, climate change or global warming. Crops or agriculture or farming. Type those ORs in all capital letters because some databases require that. Also, put words that should be found together in quotes. You'll get more results now because you're scooping up articles using more than one possible keyword. Even though there are more results, they remain focused on your key concepts. And since EBSCOhost sorts your results by the quality of the match, you'll find a better mix of articles on the first few screens of results. Please, don't skim 29,000 articles. What if you are only allowed to use recent articles, say from the past five years? On the left, you'll find all kinds of ways to narrow down your results. There's a date range showing the range of articles that came up in your search. Let's set that range to the last five years only. Your results will update as soon as you click away. Now, all the older articles are gone. Want to see only a certain kind of article? For example, maybe you're required to use scholarly, peer-reviewed articles. Or you just want to see magazine or newspaper articles. You can do that here, too. We've got a pretty good set of search results now. But I want to show you one more trick, and this is something that works in almost any search tool, including Google. It's called a wildcard. Maybe we want to search not only for the word farming, but also farms, farmers, and farmland. How can we do that without typing all those words in? We can use a wildcard. Cut off the end of the word farming, so it's just the beginning of the word, farm. Then add an asterisk, a star, to the end. This will match to any word that begins with farm. That will give you more matches because you're accepting all those different forms of your keyword. Congratulations, you're becoming an EBSCOhost search superstar. Remember, most of what we saw just now will work in other databases too. Need help? Get 24-7 chat assistance, or make an appointment for a phone or video conference consultation. Go to Ask a Librarian from the PCC Library homepage. We're always happy to help.